Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. And I really don't have good news for you. Dice is again cooking up yet another disastrous meal for the Battlefield community. And that has something to do with the next Battlefield game, probably the campaign part being an open world game. Now, I do know for a fact that a lot of you guys are actually on the same side with me. We don't really want anything like this. But apparently there is even a job listing for this, which apparently was taken down by DICE just a few hours after it being listed. And for some reason that link doesn't even work now. Good for us, someone was sane enough to go ahead and take a screenshot and now we know what was in that job listing. So I don't really want to waste any more time. Let's just go in, see what this job listing is about and take a look at what DICE is actually cooking for us. So here's the qualifications. Six plus years of experience in the industry. They need an eye for lighting, color textures, and building believable scenes, which is probably just referring to a campaign experience. Experience with environmental aesthetics, function versus form, relationships, and what makes a game level fun and intriguing, which is again, probably about a single player campaign. Convey a sense of story in a scene or game asset, considering age, weathering, and context. And they go ahead and speak about some qualifications for 3D modeling software, which is not any of our concern. And finally, knowledge of train creation, both modeled and procedurally generated is an advantage. An open world experience, a plus. So yeah, open world experience, a plus. So this is just confusing. And probably one of the reasons why they shut down this whole link was exactly because of that. Maybe this open world experience, a plus sentence right here is kind of conveying the wrong context. I don't know. What we know here is that DICE might actually be crazy enough to do something as ridiculous as that and make the next Battlefield games story campaign an open world one. Now that is ridiculous. Like we probably know where that's going to lead us. For example, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the recent Call of Duty had a campaign where some of the missions were considered as open world missions. Like they put you in a map, likely a bigger one, and they give you some options to choose from some missions you have. There are some optional missions as well. And you can go and basically just uh, start wandering around. And that really didn't work so good for the Call of Duty game. Probably they're trying to do something like the Dead Space remake, maybe. If you guys played that, you have a bigger map with lots of different places and different areas that you can uh, basically travel between. And they give you some optional missions in that environment. Maybe that's something they want to do with Battlefield. You have a map, um, there's optional missions, there's your main mission, you can go wander around. That is not going to work, guys. I mean, we already had enough of open world games. Everywhere you look, games are open world. Like every single game that comes out nowadays is open world. I do really miss some linear uh, like story campaigns. I really do. I often go back and play some linear campaigns. Like there are so many games that you can play that are FPS games, linear campaign, and they are fun guys. Imagine playing Battlefield 3 again. That story campaign was completely linear and it was perfect. It was fun. We had our fun or Bad Company 2's campaign. So Battlefield had linear campaigns, which were great. And now what DICE wants to do is probably make an open world Battlefield experience. Again, in my opinion, one of the main reasons why they actually shut down this link was they thought this is not actually conveying the purpose or the context that they were actually trying to convey, or maybe they were afraid of the community's reaction. I don't really know which one had the uh, bigger part to play in shutting down this link. Whatever it was, right now I have a community post asking you guys if you are actually willing to experience a open world battlefield, or you just prefer the linear campaign. Something that really focuses on story, drama, things like that that we had back in the days with Battlefield 3, even Battlefield 4, and Battlefield Bad Company 2. I really want you guys to go and tell me what you think because I do believe I'm not really alone in this. What's the point of having an open world experience for Battlefield game? Like what's what's really the point? I don't understand. I know it's a gaming trend. Every single game that comes out has some sort of open world elements built in them. Even if that game is not considered a true open world, there is still some open world elements. But this is Battlefield. Um, we have our own community, a community that actually knows what they want. We don't really need to follow any trend. Even Battle Royale was a trend back in the day. I don't think it really is anymore. But Battle Royale was a trend. We don't really need to have a Battle Royale in a Battlefield game. But the topic of discussion here is not a free-to-play Battle Royale. It's something that you guys are willing to pay for. 
are you really willing to pay for an open world Battlefield experience? Because I really don't think it's gonna work out. Battlefield isn't the game to go open world. It's not. Like there are some minor open world elements in the campaign of Battlefield 5, for example. And that campaign wasn't really good. It really wasn't. Comparing it to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield Bad Company 2, that campaign was nothing. And I really didn't want to make this video because I thought, well, this job listing thing was shut down after a few hours. Maybe it wasn't so important. But then when I saw this screenshot, I was like, DICE isn't really the DICE we knew. These guys are actually capable of doing such stupidity. Let's be honest. These guys can't actually do that. They delayed the next Battlefield game for a freaking year. And these guys are leaving 2042 as it is. There's no content you can make. There's no new experiences. Everything we are experiencing is the previous content that we've experienced for thousands of times. And now they come up with this. They want to convey a sense of story and a scene or game asset, but in an open world environment, which is absolutely ridiculous for a Battlefield game. Do let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you are on the same page with me. If you really want an open world experience in Battlefield games, let me know and let me know why. Because you have to have some good reasons for that. If you want something to have in a Battlefield game, something that never worked in a Battlefield game, and you actually prefer it to the formula that actually worked, then you better have some reasons and some good ones. So yeah, go down in the comment section, let me know what you think. And also do remember to go to the community section, take a look at my community poll, and let me know if you really think the next Battlefield game should be an open world or just a linear campaign. With all that said, guys, thank you for watching. I know a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. Probably around 85 to 90% of my viewers are not actually subscribed. So if you guys do subscribe to the channel, you won't miss out on the future video. And it really means a lot to myself. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, stay cool.